What's up guys, Wallen Customs here, and today we are taking a look at a figure from the past. A couple years ago, this is from a San Diego Comic Con exclusive pack of well, a couple of Thor figures. This is the Marvel Legends Ulick? Ulick? I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Uh, but here he is, and still in packaging. I actually never opened him up. I took Thor out, I took She-Thor she out, and stuff like that, but I left him in there. I have time now, so I'm going to open him up. On the side right here is the Commander of the Trolls. Challenger to Thor, and this was a part of a big giant packaging, like it all unfolds. So in the back right here, I kind of ripped it up already, but um, it has a picture of him right there, which is pretty cool. All right, guys, so here he is out of the box. Now I have to admit, I'm not the most educated or have the most information on this character himself. The only time I really remember him that well is from Avengers Disassembled, from the Thor story arc, where him he's part of one of you know Loki's lackeys they took you know to fight Thor and everything I remember that so well because I remember all of Loki's minions all their armor and weapons were all made of the same metal as Thor's hammer so or whatever it was so that's pretty cool um, so I want to when I will always see these things I always think of that I think he actually always has these overall though but um, and I'm not sure if that specific comic book there were, you know, same thing as Thor's hammer. But anyway, pretty cool looking. Not bad. I finally got him some fresh air. He looks pretty nice. The big guy, actually. When I look at his body mold, it kind of reminds me of the Rhino Build-A-Figure, but it's not actually the same thing. I'll do some size comparisons afterwards, but uh, he looks pretty good. So let's take a look at him up close and personal. All right, so here he is up close and personal. Looks pretty good. I have to admit, the face looks pretty nice, kind of, I think he's, what is he, a, a troll or orc or something like that? It kind of reminds me of, like, uh, War of Warcraft, right? Or Warcraft, one of those things. Uh, but overall, it looks pretty good. I do like the armor. Man, the armor looks really nice. This green, this glossy, not glossy, but it's really nice shine to it. It really comes up pretty nice. He has some side gauntlets right there on the shoulders. Going down to the rest of the body, it looks pretty good. Well, that's really nice looking. And the body itself, it looks pretty good too. Uh, nice shading overall in some places, different colors. Some fur popping out here and there, on the shoulders right here, on his arm, his hand right here, even at the feet. And quickly taking a look at the back of the body, so all that nice uh, chain mail green right there looks pretty good. Alright, size comparison time. So I wanted to show him first with rhino right here because I, I when i picked this guy up i swear i was like man this is like a rhino body actually um it's not the same upper body it looks like the legs actually at least the thighs are the same the biceps are the same right here and possibly even the shoulders because of the little holes right there uh but the bo upper body it looks like might be different but who knows maybe they molded it a little bit differently but the only reason why i bring that up is because when i look at his skin for Ulick. You see those little cracks? These cracks right here? That's why like, it looks like a rhino skin. And you see it all over his body actually. It's different parts. Even the thighs right here you see it. So that only made me think this is a rhino body. And even you look closer at the ball joint right here. It's kind of similar. So they probably reused some parts. Even looking at the arms right here, you can see the bumps and everything. Very really similar, pretty much the same thing. So they definitely used some parts from him. Not totally, but um, I wasn't totally wrong in my idea that this was a rhino body. Alright, going back with size comparisons, here is the 80th anniversary Thor figure right here. Decent looking figure. I'm not really a big fan of it, but I love the classic look. And here's the build figure for Odin right here, which is a pretty big character and figure himself. As you can see, Ulick looks pretty big compared to both of them and definitely towers over them as well. And for another size comparison, here is Better Ray Bill right here, the new version which I like a lot. And this is basically another Thor figure with the basic body mold that he came with for a couple of figures right there. So you can see Ulick definitely towers over both of them. And for another size comparison, we have a bunch of Loki variants right here. I'm actually a big, bigger fan of the movie Loki than actually having a comic book version of Loki in my collection. I don't know, I don't know why, I just don't like the look of it. Or maybe I'm just a big Tom Hiddleston fan, I don't know. But here he is, side by side, a couple of different variations. We have Avengers 1 Loki right there, and we have Thor Ragnarok Loki with different bodies. Next up right here, we have Thor from the movies, and we have Lady Sif. 
Now next up right here we have the two Hulk figures who actually finally are bigger than Ulick. Uh, we have Red Hulk right here and we have Green Hulk. And here we have some standard 6 inch figures right here of Iron Man and Captain America. And last but not least here he is with the Juggernaut Builder figure right there and also the greatest champion of all time Brock Lesnar. So going to articulation, he has a ball joint in the head. I'm just going to pop it off right there. So it's on a ball joint and a hinge right there. Uh, you can bring it down. It can kind of swivel back and forth a little bit. Not that bad, actually. It's pretty good, actually, for his non-neck size. Uh, goes left and right. Doesn't really pivot that much, though. But uh, overall, it's pretty decent. Now going to the shoulders right here. His shoulders are interesting because they don't go up that high. They go about that high up, basically. Um, but they go all the way around, but they do get stopped by the fur right here. So you do have some movement right there. Uh, they go all the way out, about that much as well. Uh, buy some swivel right there. One joint at the elbow. And at the wrist right here, he has a hinge and a swivel, so it's pretty standard right there. At the ab joint right here, he does have an ab joint crunch. Uh, goes forward that much. Not bad. Pretty good. Goes back a little bit as well, so no real complaints there. He is a big guy anyway. Uh, waist swivel, no problem. Uh, teeth jointed hips to go about that far up. Very nice big guy doesn't go back at all split wise if you want it thigh swivel one joint there you go at the knee which is pretty good too honestly and at the ankle right here he has a hinge joint which is pretty good too nice movement and coverage and a pivot all right so overall he's a pretty cool looking figure i think they did a great job on him honestly if you, ha if you want to talk about just a review of him he looks like a fantastic figure. It really takes him out of the comic book and puts him in the figure. It looks really nice. Uh, the fur is really cool. The shading on the, and the color scheme is really nice. The armor is fantastic. The head scope is really good as well. Is he a re really desired figure? I doubt it. You know, a lot of people won't have this because he is a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. The whole big giant six pack or five pack it was. And you had to pay like at least 170 to 200 bucks to get him anyway. The whole pack. So not a lot of people will have it. Is he worth it? You know, it's cool to have in your collection. If you're a big Thor collector, you want to have a lot of bodies in there. He's definitely pretty cool to have for uh, Loki's henchmen. Uh, but I think it's still pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. Like, always, comment, criticize, subscribe. Do whatever you want to pay attention. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Peace!